Hello friends, welcome to UGPG Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve some questions from real analysis, in particular from differentiability and uniform continuity. So let's start. The first question is true or false. So the statement is there exists a differentiable function f from r to r such that f dash at 0 is 0 but f dash at x is greater or equal 1 for all x which are non-zero. So we just have to check this statement is true or not. So now look at this first condition. It says that f dash at 0 is 0. So just recall the definition of differentiality at the point 0, right? So what is the definition in terms of limit? So limit as x tends to 0 of f of x minus f of 0 divided by x minus 0, it is f dash at 0, right? Now we have given that this f dash at 0 is 0, right? Now look at this quantity. This is something like we can get this quantity from mean value theorem, right? So what is mean value theorem? It is very important. Suppose we have some function f which is defined on closed AB. If this is continuous on closed AB, this is differentiable on open interval AB, then there exists C in this open interval AB such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a, right. Now how to use this theorem here? So now look at this x, x is different from 0, right. We want this x non equal to 0, right. So look at this interval 0 to x. Now clearly this function is continuous because this function is differentiable, right? We have assumed this. So this function is continuous on this closed interval 0 to x. It is differentiable on open interval 0 to x. And hence by mean value theorem we have there exists C belongs to open interval 0 to x such that f dash of c is equal to f of x minus f of 0 divided by x minus 0, right. So, we get this, right. So, f of x minus f of 0 upon x minus 0. This is same as this. So, we have f dash of c is equal to f of x minus f of 0 divided by x minus 0. Now, what is this c? c is in between 0 to x, right. So clearly this c is non-zero, right, because this c is in open interval. So f dash of c is greater equal 1, right, because for x not 0, we have f dash of x is greater equal 1. Now c is not 0, so f dash of c is greater equal 1, right. That means what? This quantity is greater equal 1. Right. Now, take the limit on both the sides. Right. We want limit of this quantity. So, limit as x tends to 0 of this f of x minus f of 0 divided by x minus 0 is greater equal limit x tends to 0 of 1. Right. But what is this? This is just a constant 1. So, this limit is just 1. Right. But what is this? This is just same as f dash of 0 which is 0, right. So we get 0 is greater or equal 1, right, which is not possible. So here we have a contradiction. So there, that means what? There does not exist such function, differentiable function from R to R with f dash at 0 is 0, but f dash of x is greater or equal 1 for all x not 0, right. So this is false. Now let us solve next question. This is about uniform continuity. So we have given function f of x is equal to x cube upon 1 plus x square and we need to check this function is uniformly continuous or not on R set of all real numbers. So let's start. Now what is the definition of uniform continuity? So given any epsilon greater than 0, 
there exists delta greater than zero where this delta is just dependent on epsilon right which is not dependent on x such that whenever we have modulus of x minus y is less than delta we have f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon right this is the definition of uniform continuity of the function f of x so we just use this so we want f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon whenever modulus of x minus y is less than delta right so let us first solve this f of x minus f of y so what is this this is just apply this definition of f so this is x cube divided by 1 plus x square minus y cube divided by 1 plus y square right now we want to right express this f of x minus f of y in terms of some modulus of x minus y right so that this whenever this is less than delta we have f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon so how to get this in terms of this modulus of x minus y so there is a little adjustment here so we can write this x cube upon 1 plus x square as x minus x upon 1 plus x square right so just replace this by x minus x upon 1 plus x square minus of similarly for y y minus this right now let us simplify this so we have this x and minus y right so this is less equal mod of x minus y plus x upon 1 plus x square minus y upon 1 plus y square right now because what modulus of a plus b is less equal modulus of a plus modulus of b right i have used this here now just simplify this so take the cross multiplication so x plus x y square minus y minus x square y right in the numerator so this is just x you take x common from this so it is x 1 plus x y take y so y times 1 plus x y right so this is just same as 1 plus x y times x minus y right so this quantity is just equal to 1 plus x y times x minus y divided by 1 plus x square times 1 plus y square right now take the modulus of this so this is less equal modulus of x minus y as it is plus mod of this so it is modulus of 1 plus x y divided by now look at this denominator 1 plus x square is always greater or equal 0 similarly 1 plus y square is greater or equal 0 so modulus is just itself and modulus of this x minus y right so we have this modulus of x minus y now let us simplify this again so here this modulus of 1 plus x y is again less equal 1 plus modulus of x y right because modulus of a plus b is less equal modulus of a plus modulus of b now we know that whenever we have x and y so x plus y the whole square is greater or equal 0 right and similarly x minus y the whole square is greater or equal 0 so simplify this we get x square plus y square is greater or equal modulus of 2 times x minus xy right so use this here now from here we have modulus of xy is less equal 1 by 2 times x square plus y square right so this is less equal modulus of x minus y plus look at this quantity this is less equal 1 plus this is 1 by 2 times x square plus y square divided by x1 plus x square 1 plus y square 
times this mod of x minus y right now we can adjust this constant as take this half here and multiply this by 2 right so now we can just cancel these two right because we can adjust these terms as 1 plus x square plus 1 plus y square right now we can simplify this as 1 upon 1 plus y square plus 1 upon 1 plus x square times this modulus of x minus y right now clearly this quantity is less equal 1 this is also less equal 1 so addition is less equal 2 that means we have 1 by 2 this is less equal this 2 times mod of x minus y right so to get cancelled with this and we have modulus of x minus y plus from here we have modulus of x minus y right so we have modulus of f of x minus f of y is less equal 2 times modulus of x minus y now now we want delta greater than 0 such that whenever we have modulus of x minus y is less than delta this quantity is less than epsilon right but this is already less equal 2 times modulus of x minus y so you take this delta to be epsilon by 2 right so 2 times this is less than 2 times this but which is equal to epsilon right so we have this modulus of x minus y is less than epsilon whenever modulus of x minus y is less than delta so this function f of x is uniformly continuous on r now note that here this delta is just dependent on epsilon right there is no term x or y here so this delta is just dependent on epsilon now if you do not know these calculations and all you can just use the result that if we have bounded derivative then this function is uniformly continuous right so by using this result we can prove that this function is uniformly continuous on r now look at this f of x 1 plus x square is greater or equal 0 and this x cube is ag again differentiable this is differentiable so f of x is differentiable right so find out the derivative so f dash of x is just equal to by using quotient rule for derivative so this is 1 plus x square times the derivative of x cube minus x cube times the derivative of this which is 2x divided by 1 plus x square the whole square right now simplify this so this is just 3x square plus 3x raised to 4 minus 2 times x raised to 4 which is just x raised to 4 and which is same as take x square common so let me write this 3x square as 2x square plus x square plus x raised to 4 now take this x square common so we have 1 plus x square right and denominator is as it is which is just 1 plus x square it's square right now simplify this so we have this is just 2x square divided by 1 plus x square the whole square plus now this 1 plus x square cancels with this and we just have x square divided by 1 plus x square right now the important thing is that x square is less equal 1 plus x square so x square divided by 1 plus x square is less equal 1 so this quantity is less equal 1 now what about this quantity so we can write this as x square divided by 1 plus x square it's square plus x square divided by 1 plus x square it's square right now from here we have x square is less equal 1 plus x square so this is less equal it's square right so x square upon this square is always less equal 1 
So use this here. So we have this is less equal 1 plus 1 right and this was less equal 1. So this whole thing f dash of x is less equal 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3. So we have modulus of f dash x is less equal 3 for all x in R right. That means we have bounded derivative. So this function is uniformly continuous on R. Now let us solve next question. This function f of x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square. Is this function uniformly continuous on R? So let us solve this. Now you can apply the definition of uniform continuity for this function. I have covered this part in the previous example. But let us use that the derivative is bounded. So here just look at this 1 plus x square is positive greater or equal 0. So 1 upon 1 plus x square is differentiable function because numerator and denominator both are differentiable functions with denominator non-zero. So find out the derivative. So f dash of x is just take the quotient rule here. So it is 1 plus x square times derivative of this minus 1 times the derivative of this which is 2x 1 plus x square the whole square. Right. Now take the modulus of this. So modulus of this which is just 2 times mod of x divided by 1 plus x square its square. Right. Now we have just seen that this x is less equal 1 plus x square and which is less equal 1 plus x the whole square. So x is less equal 1 plus x the whole square. So we have this is less equal 2 times 1 plus x square square divided by 1 plus x square the whole square right so we have f dash of x is less equal to for all x in r that means we have bounded derivative so this function is uniformly continuous on r so we have so many examples of uniform continuous function that means suppose we have some function f of x of the form say ax plus b linear function then clearly f dash of x is equal to a right so modulus is equal to modulus of this which is less equal modulus of this that means we have this bound uh, derivative is bounded so this function is uniformly continuous on r similarly you can take f of x is equal to sin x then what is the derivative it is cos x which is less equal 1 so derivative is bounded so function is uniformly continuous Similarly, for cos x, derivative is minus sin x, which is the mod of this is less equal 1. So, cos x is uniformly continuous. And also, sum of two uniformly continuous function is again uniformly continuous function. So, for example, sin x plus x is uniformly continuous function. Then cos x plus sin x is uniformly continuous function and so on. I hope you like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you find this useful. Thank you.